All right, we're now going to go over the installation of the Airshore system. Um, some of the main difference between Airshore and the Paratec and the Hydraulic is our Airshore system cannot be fully installed uh, from outside of the trench. To lock these collars off, they might, uh, a rescuer has to get in the trench, which this actually dictates how these are going to be installed. Um, unlike your uh, Hydraulic or Paratec system that is installed bottom, middle, top, our Airshore system will be installed middle, top, bottom. And what we'll do is we'll set our middle shore, make sure it's uh, level and square. We will pressurize it and hold that air pressure while we shoot our top shore. When we get our top shore shot, we will now lock it off mechanically, move down, lock it off mechanically, maintaining our waste rule for our uh, trench operation. Good. Everybody good? Once he reaches full pressurization, he will keep the air pressure on the strut, and now they'll install their top strut. Stay outside here. All right, our top strut will go, uh, enter the trench, keeping our spacing maximum of 24 inches from the trench lip, and a maximum of 48 inches in between the struts. Okay, guys centered up. Well, I'm good. Good feathered up. Everything good? Hit hold on red. Hit hold on red. All right, we have full pressure on the middle strut and top strut. We can now get a rescuer in the hole to mechanically lock our struts off. Notice when they installed the struts, it is a good practice to keep all hoses and all locking collars on the same side. All right, he's found, he's found the lowest point on his inclined plane. He's going to slide it through, rotate his collar clockwise, and then lock off his T screw. Notice how he's keeping the waist wheel intact with the top strut. Now he can progress down the ladder, do the second, uh, do the same operation with the middle strut. All right, both struts are mechanically locked. He can call for air release on both struts, yellow and red. Release yellow and red. Okay, while they're preparing the third strut, he can now toenail. The strut's in place just like he did the paratex. And he can now assist in the installation of the bottom strut once it's ready to be installed. All right, our last strut set's ready to be placed in the hole. You can see the rescuer is maintaining his position on the ladder. Uh, when we talk about the waist rule, you can see if you line up this strut, it has to be in line with his waist. Hit and hold. Hit hold on black. Hit and hold on black. Once he's got it pressurized, he can now progress all the way down the ladder into the trench and lock his collar off. All right, we now have our full set of uh, air shores in place. Uh, what the rescuer can do now is reassure that all the shores are mechanically captured. He's going to check his capture points, make sure there's nothing loose. Um, a lot of times what will happen when you pressurize shores in a row, when you pressurize this bottom shore, it might loosen the middle shore or loosen the top shore. What you have to do then is repressurize these shores and uh, recapture them mechanically. Uh, before progressing on, he's going to make sure he's got his toenails and all the uh, base plates and uh, make sure everything is secure, all his ropes are in place.